18 Audi Q5 with hybrid checking light on and hybrid message too hybrid uh, failure system message this is the error is showing up about hybrid system and uh, sometimes the checking light is on right now it's not These were the codes that we had in the system. Something else I wanted to show here about uh, checking for codes. I am on the enhanced mode. Uh, we're gonna see here read DTCs. So you say no focus. I'm gonna see when I go back to the generic mode. I'm gonna see what happened there. As we can see there, we could see at the very beginning I was pointing there where it says zero code, but look at it here. On generic side, those two codes are there permanently. So that one is part apparently of the, what they are doing on a new vehicle. So they are leaving those codes permanently even if after you clear them. So uh, this is something can be misleading. Some people may think that they didn't fix the vehicle. So I wanted to give you that piece of information there too. Of course, so it doesn't have Audi here. So I'm gonna uh, pick it up a uh, Volkswagen. And we can see P2187 system to link at idle bank one. And P2779, so it's still a uh, system to link at idle bank one. So basically when I see this kind of scenario here, first thing I do is Without doing anything else, I go to the dipstick, remove the dipstick, and check the crankcase pressure. Why? Because 90% of these problems is, are there. And then if, in case there wasn't the problem, I don't feel I wasted any time because most of them are here. So at this point, I'm gonna be showing that, that, that test procedure I'm going here when, that's, when we have that issue. Uh, the whole testing here on the dipstick crankage pressure. Wanted to check here when uh, the fault occurred on free flame data. No supporter. It's because it is um, manufacturer's codes, all of those. I found no information at all on those codes on identifix or all data. They, they do not exist there. Those codes. I just went based on the experience of this vehicle all the time. Like I said, checking the dipstick, and, or if not, I just put some smog inside the, into the intake system. Uh, if I don't find any excessive vacuum there, I go and apply smog to the system there on the intake. 2013 uh, Audi Q5 Hybrid 2.0 with a large internal vacuum leak. Going over the 2D inches of water, so I already put the, the gauge and backing gauge, and it was about 5 inches of metal, which is crazy. Large backing gauge, you see a 121 and another for so partial load for uh, lean condition. This evolved out 
They release the PCB valve out now on my hands. That one is creating excessive uh, vacuum. Gotta get a new one in and retest. This is after I installed a new accountant soft valve right there so this one doesn't have a deep stick you just have there like a little plug there remove the plug connect it and then you can see here this is rotating in between like about eight and eight so it takes and we can see when i remove it it was almost stolen by anything i'm sucking my finger not like you no know? right here it was like Basically, it was talking a lot. This thing almost stolen the engine when you do something like this. You have to put your finger there and feel that. Okay. 